Sawa Banane family, we see you, we honor you, and we value you. Your gifts, along with God's grace, allow us to persevere, to mentor, and prepare new leaders as we co-create for future generations. The Proctor Conference is where future meets legacy. We are committed to the forward crusade of faith, equity, and reparatory justice, nationally and globally. We are the place where Ubuntu becomes reality. Your gifts to the Legacy Campaign enables our success, our sustainability, and secures the future. With vision, by faith, and through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work. Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time, or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Good morning, family. And welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of weekly prayer and song, the Proctor Prayer Demic. Today is Friday, July 22nd, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful you're with us this morning for prayer. We would like to invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info. And we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And you can sign up by texting SDPC to the number 84576. We promise we will only use your number for sharing information. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to the service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909 318-7011. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Dr. Michael Elam. Welcome to Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, Prayer Prayerdemic. Welcome, Salbonani. We see, we value, you are important to us. And namaste, the divinity in me salutes the divinity in you. We are forever indebted to the founders of Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright Jr., the Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III, and Dr. Iva Carruthers for their vision and faith through courage in this Proctor Conference. Our call to worship is Micah 6, 8, 6 through 8. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves, a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams and ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? Has he told you, O mortal, what is good? What does the Lord require of you to do justice and love and kindness and walk humbly with your God? Our prayer warrior today is the Reverend Joshua Lawrence Lazard, who is a writer on race, religion, and politics, and a minister who has served ecumenically at numerous churches throughout the country. Additionally, his previous work as a university chaplain and musician has led him to pursue further studies at the doctorate level. He is currently entering his second year as a PhD student at Boston University School of Theology and is now residing in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He can be found on many social media platforms under the Uppity Negro. 
Our music minister today is Reverend Carmen Reed. Please hear them both this morning and welcome them with prayer and praise and thanksgiving. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Oh, Christ, the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On oh, Christ the solid rock I stand, all oh, of the ground is sinking sand. Yes, God, all of the ground is sinking sand. On oh, Christ the solid rock I stand, oh, all of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. I need the oh, I, I need thee every hour. I, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to, to, to thee on Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, I'm again very thankful for the opportunity to be with you all here on this Friday morning. Uh, thankful for the for the privilege to be with you all and to share with you all this morning, to be in community and communion with each other. Special thanks to Reverend Jerry Wright for extending me the opportunity yet again. I had the opportunity to pray with you all sometime last year in 2021. I think it was around September. So again, uh, again, thankful for the opportunity again this morning. I don't want to take too much of your time this morning. Let us go before God together. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name in all of the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens through the praise of children and infants. You have established a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When we consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon, the stars, which you have set in place. What is humanity that you are mindful of them? Who are us as mere mortals that you care for us? Oh God, we come before you as Job encountered the whirlwind seeking answers. Yet reminded that sometimes we don't get the answers that we are seeking. But nevertheless, the whirlwind reminds us that if you, oh God, can manage to set forth galaxies 4.6 billion light years away, and establish physics such that the sun, the moon, and the planets all rotate and revolve such that they don't crash into each other. Making sure that this planet, our planet, is at the perfect distance away from the sun, providing the right balance to sustain and provide life, then it is indeed in you, O oh Lord, in which we truly move and have our being. Gracious God, we come before you humbly at the close of another week. 
and at the start of yet another day. A day in which the sun didn't take the opportunity for a vacation day and personal time off. And for that, we say thank you. We say thank you for life, for breath in our bodies. We thank you for our mind, the ability to think and process information. We thank you for the birthdays and the other milestones that we plan to reach and for the ones that we didn't expect to see. God, we're thankful for the unexpected blessings of being around family and friends and the warmth of a summer two years after the start of a pandemic. And God, we say thank you for the privilege and the opportunity for prayer. We're thankful that we have this line of communication with you that centers us and provides us with the nourishment to keep on running just a little while longer to see what the end is going to be. We remember, oh God, the ones that have crossed over the River Jordan and joined the ancestors. We keep the light of the memory perpetually shining as a beacon to those of us still here. Remembering that even when we don't understand it, we know and we believe that all things are working together for the good of them that love you. And God, is, as, as we've come to July, as, as we've come to this halfway point of the year, we want to take a minute to pause and simply ask of you, O oh God, that you would allow grace and just a little bit of mercy to follow us on the good days as we lie in green pastures and even so on the bad days as we pass through the shadows of death. And God, we take this opportunity to also pause and ask that whatever you have poured into us in the first half of this year, God, we're asking that you let the latter be greater than the former. God, whatever we have planted, whatever we have toiled, whatever we have tilled in the gardens of the city of our soul in the first half of the year, God, I ask that you let us reap a harvest of blessing in the second half. Oh, God, whatever it is that has been torn down and torn apart and torn asunder in our lives, God, we ask that you let us rebuild and mend it in the second half of this year. Wherever we have wept, wherever we have cried, wherever we have mourned and experienced sadness and, and things that just didn't make sense, God, I ask that in the second half of this year that you let us laugh you let us dance, that you let us smile even again. Whatever has been torn apart, let it be mended. Wherever we have been silent, oh God, in the moments where we didn't speak up, when we know that we should have, God grant us the courage in the second half of, of the year to speak up, to find our voice. God, we pray for peace as well. We, we pray for the end of suffering. We pray for the liberation of all of humanity that binds. We pray, we pray to be delivered from the binds of capitalism, of greed, of racism, homophobia, transphobia. We pray that bodily autonomy be granted to all of humans who live on this earth. We pray that the work of justice keep on rolling and that they find their energy to sustain and maintain the work that you have tasked them with. And in that work of justice, O oh God, we, we pray for minds to be deeply transformed, for souls to find peace in the wars within and for bodies to be able to walk and move freely. God, release us from the same old thoughts that got us where we are today. Renew in us a hope that imagines beyond the same places that land us in disaster after disaster after disaster, a tune the strings of our hearts to vibrate and resonate at a frequency and pitch that responds to the world in a way that your son, Jesus, told us to welcome the hungry, to, to give water to the thirsty, to clothe those that, that are naked, and to give shelter to those that are unhoused. For God, you remind us in your word that if the birds of the air neither sow nor reap, God in heaven still takes care of them. As the lilies of the field neither toil nor spin, let us not worry and be anxious for nothing. For you are always with us. For when we pass through the fire, we will not be burned. And when we pass through the floods, the waters will not drown us. It is in you, O oh God, in whom we place our trust and our faith. We offer up this prayer together in the name of the one who died on a cross in Jerusalem and was resurrected three days later. We offer up this prayer in the power of the resurrection. We offer up this prayer in the strong name of Jesus, who is the Christ, 
Together we pray and say, Amen. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me. And sooner or later, it's going to turn in my favor. Yeah, Lord, it's turning around for me. It won't always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concerning me and sooner or later is gonna turn in my favor oh, it's turning around for me around for me around for me around for me it's turning around for me it won't always be like this the lord will perfect that concerning me and sooner or later is going to turn in my favor. Oh, it's turning around for me. For you are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. For you are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised and we give you all the glory we worship you our lord you are worthy to be praised Yes, God. We give you all the glory and we worship you, our Lord, for you are worthy to be praised. Cause it won't always be quite like this the lord will perfect that concerning me and sooner or later it's gonna turn in my favor yeah lord it's turning around for me Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Reverend Lazard, for your wonderful prayer and praise this morning. And thank you, Car Reverend Carmen Reed, for your commitment to minister in song and worship and thanksgiving. We thank them both this morning for their contribution to our prayer demic. They are part of the Proctor family, and they are always welcome to contribute to our ministry and our great work. And speaking of great work, won't you invest in the Samuel DeWork Proctor Conference? Your investment brings forth these platforms and other work for the Samuel DeWork Proctor Conference as we continue to work in social and reparative justice. Won't you give your donation, no matter how small or large, you can find us through Giveify, 
at samuelduvitproctorconference.info and you can look under the tab um, Samuel Dewey Proctor Conference. Thank you again for all everybody, everybody whose contribution to this Friday prayer demic. We thank you all for contributing and we thank you all for just participating and being here. Have a great day. We bless you, blessings upon you on this weekend. Our closing benediction is now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forevermore. Let the community, the church, the people, the folks out there say amen, amen, and ashe. Have a wonderful, great weekend. Don't let anybody steal your joy. And for those who have missed me, here's a wonderful hug for an embrace this day and this afternoon, this morning and this weekend. See you next time.